Hey guys, we've reached the end of yet another year and as usual, it's time to dole out our annual Zero One Awards for the best performing devices across several categories launched in the Indian market. The awards are given out on the basis of performance alone and other factors such as design, build, price and extraneous features are immaterial. And this year's Zero One Award winner in the graphics card category is the Zotac RTX 2080 Super Amp Extreme. This card features a 16 plus 4 power phase design that gives you plenty of overclocking headroom and it ensures a stable power supply. On top of that, the boost clock of this particular card is 1875 MHz, which is the highest that we've seen this year from all the graphics cards. Now, this might not bring much of a difference when it comes to gaming performance, but in synthetic benchmarks, this does give the card a certain edge, and which is why it wins this year's Zero One Awards. And the run-up in the graphics card category is the MSI RTX 2080 Super Gaming X Trio. Now, this particular card has a 10 plus 2 power phase design, which isn't that bad compared to the winner, and it has a boost clock of 1845 MHz. Now, this isn't that bad when it comes to gaming benchmarks, you're barely 1 to 2 frames per second behind the winner. However, in synthetic benchmarks, the difference can be a bit more. For these particular reasons, it's this year's runner-up. And lastly, the best buy. AMD got out the RX 5700 XT, which competes with NVIDIA's 2070 Super and sometimes in certain games, it even competes with the RTX 2080 Super. Now, compared to the RTX 2080 Super, the 5700 XT comes for roughly half the price. So you can see there's obviously a lot of value when you're going for this particular graphics card, which is why we are designating it the best buy. Let us know what you think about our choices in the comments below. Also, remember to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notifications for similar videos. Thanks for watching.